part three of the Atacuascleuf Pass deals with the main descent from the summit to the end at the Sonskane farm. If you intend driving this pass, it is important to watch parts one and two in addition to this part to gain a complete perspective on what the pass has to offer. Some of the famous early explorers who passed this way between 1722 and 1790 included the likes of Thunberg, Sparman, Swellengriebel, van Plettenberg, Patterson, Gordon and van Rönen. The road soon became known as the gateway to the Karoo and the Eastern Cape. Although other passes into the Little Karoo were established before the end of the 18th century, like the Plattekloof Pass through the Langeberg and the Devilskop Pass through the Otonikwas, they did not pose a serious threat to this pass. The establishment of George in the early 19th century with the Craddock Pass in 1812 and the Montague Pass in 1847 brought about the beginning of the end of the Atacuas Pass. But finally the Reitersbosch Pass in 1869, now known as Robinson's Pass, provided a new and shorter route between Otswern and Mossel Bay. This finally ended the 180 year reign of what must have been one of the most attractive passes over either the Longeberg or Otaniqua mountains. During the Anglo-Boer War, the Mossel Bay Town Guard built a series of small blockhouses along the Otaniqua mountains. One of these well-preserved blockhouses is situated near the top of the Atacuas Pass, overlooking that part of the old wagon road leading to Otsuan. For the modern-day traveller, with a little bit of time to spare, there is a three-day hiking trail offered by Cape Nature with an overnight hut on the Atacuas Kloof Trail. The Bonnydale Mammal Checklist presently consists of 46 species, which include the rare Cape Mountain Leopard and the Brown Hyena. The bird species currently numbers 130, with breeding pairs of black eagles nesting regularly. There have also been sightings of the Cape Vulture and Batalier. The vegetation in the Atacuas Kloof is fairly unique as it is situated in a major valley between two mountain ranges, namely the end of the Langeberg and the beginning of the Otaniquas, something that is unusual in the Southern Cape Mountains. The vegetation is a cross between mountain Feinbos and Renosterfeld, which has resulted in numerous species being endemic to this valley. The first European to set foot on Bonnydale would have been Isaac Shriver in February 1689. He led an expedition of 21 men and two wagons sent by Simon van der Stel to barter for cattle and sheep with the Inca Kwekwe near Aberdeen. On their return with numerous cattle and sheep, they overnighted near the present nature conservation hut and were attacked by the Atakwa Kwekwe who took all the cattle and sheep into Grootkloof on Bonnydale. There are Bushman paintings on the Bonnydale farm illustrating these attacks. The first European to settle on Bonnydale was a Scotsman in 1860, hence the Scottish name of Bonnydale. He supplied produce, mules and oxen to the travellers passing through the Kloof. He also had a toll concession to maintain the Atacuas Pass. By 1869, when the Reiterbosch Road was completed, this concession was no longer viable. During 1880, he returned to Scotland on holiday and never came back. When a local farmer, Mr. Muller, bought Bonnydale for £12 sterling in 1890, he discovered a four-year-old coloured boy in one of the shepherd's huts on the farm. There was no trace of the boy's parents. He had survived on grapes and chicken eggs. They raised the boy who lived until 1968. Mr. Muller started building the Bonnydale farmhouse in 1892 and only finished it 10 years later. This gate marks the end of the historical Atacuas Trail and its rich history. Mm -hmm.